Um, <clears throat> we know Timbers is a good, good, good team. So it's anytime you go and play them, you got to be very disciplined, and you know it's going to be a great atmosphere. And we got to use that almost to our advantage, where it's excitement for us to play in that crowd. Um, but knowing that they're a very good team, so um, it's prepping for them like we have. It's it's nice to catch them with with you know heads are high and. Um, guys, our confidence is high, and, and we wouldn't have it any other way. It's better to go in this way than the other the other direction. And confidence not only from the way you guys have been playing, but I think it's eight guys in total that have been called up for different national teams. Obviously not ideal when it's in the middle of the playoff push, but it's always a little bit of a confidence boost for the guys. What do you hope they take away from the experience, come back a little bit? you know, more well-rounded as always. Yeah, you expect and you hope that the guys come back with, you know, you get away from the norm of, of your comfort zone. You also go and hear a different voice all the time. Uh, you get tired of listening to the same voice. You go and listen to something new, maybe some fresh ideas, or maybe it's just backing up what they're hearing there and it, and it solidifies things. So it's good. It's good to have guys go. Some other guys take a break, come back, and I think it adds a little bit to close off the last games, a little bit of excitement to get the group back together. So a little more enjoyment going into these last few weeks. And a big part of being the interim head coach, I'm sure, that is a little new is having to just manage not only the tactics on the field, but a lot of the personalities and the different things that go into making a team click. How important is it to have guys, you know, like Plata, like Corey, everybody here on this roster feeling like they're a part of it? And how do you kind of approach that? They are part of it. You know, when they sign the contract, they sign a contract to be with, with RSL. Um, so... Yeah, they're all valued, and and we all know in this league, everyone gets used, you know, one way or another. And right now, Plata has been huge for us when he's coming off the bench and and creating a spark for us. That then starts giving us some, you know, recognizing him where we can. Okay, he's adding this now. Is it time for for a start? So we want everyone on board. Everyone's part of the team. You know, you can't convince yourself that you're not because you are. We're all part of it. Tyrone's as big of a part of the team as I am. I'm as big as part of the team as Teddy is. It's that's just the way it is, and 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 we got to make tough decisions. Every team in the world's got to make tough decisions, but we value every single player. And and when their their time comes where they get called up to be in the starting lineup, then they got to keep that spot. And when they're not in the starting lineup, they're trying to earn that spot. So just find a way to help the team. We got, we can't forget that team is the most important thing. And obviously every game is different. Every team in this league is different. But the last two games away from home. Really great performances from you guys. A scoreless draw in Dallas and then a win in KC. What can you draw from those two games in particular that, you know, continues to add to that road form that we've seen recently? Just the understanding that we can we can go and get a win uh, away from home or, or, or a tie. You know, it's, it builds a little bit of confidence. It, it just kind of reestablish you know, kind of gives us, lets us know that we are, are we are doing some good things. Um, and it's important going in that the last two, like you said, have, have been positive for us, and that gives us a little bit more of a push. What was Plata not bringing earlier in the season that he's now shifted and now he's starting to kind of bring some of the things that you've been talking about the last couple of days? I think fitness has been a big part of it. He's getting fitter. He's getting sharper. Uh, the other part is, you know, the, there's few phases of the game. One of them is he's great in the attacking phase. Um, he, he's a guy that can make a difference, but then he needs to be better in or, or continue to grow and he's now showing in these last months on his transition phase. So when there's a loss of possession uh, from offense to defense, that he can react quick enough to help the team control the attack of the opponent. But also in the defensive shape, when we're in our organized block, that he's he's aware of spacings and between the line play. And when he goes and closes down guys, that he can go and close down guys with the conviction of winning a ball and recovering a ball. So that, that part he's been getting better, and that's what we want to see. Because then we know he can do the offensive part, but he's got to also put in when we're not playing against the ball. Corey, now I think it's the third time he's been called up to the national team or either camp or to actually play in games. Uh, what has it been for him the last few months? Because he wasn't called up to the final Gold Cup roster, and now he's kind of back in the mix again. What have you seen the last few months that have kind of given him the opportunity, do you think? Confidence. You know, he got those three goals in, what was it, two games. Got him some confidence, unfortunately. He got the suspension. But he got he's gotten fitter. He's gotten sharper today. He scores a great goal in 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 training where I think because of the confidence he all of a sudden is willing to take that shot where as opposed a month back he was laying that off or, or, or just trying to keep possession so I think the confidence helps now getting called into a national team it almost gives you that reassurance that you are a good player you know and so then that reassurance even gets your confidence up a little bit higher. When he didn't make the Gold Cup roster did you see that he was disappointed about it or anything like that? 
uh, I'm sure it bothered him. He's a competitor. Every single guy here, the players that we have, you know, when when you're denied something, I think you you feel like you deserve it. And but the good thing about Corey is he doesn't respond with head down and not work, and he responds with the proper, the positive stuff, working hard, trying to do a little bit of extra, and and continue to do the things. It doesn't always come out, but the effort's always there. What are you expecting from the matchup? I mean, Portland hasn't been as good at at home as we've seen in the past. The last two games, they've lost back to back, but they're an extremely dangerous team, especially on the counter attack and the margin of error being so small on this Western Conference. How do you come out on top on Saturday? I expect a very good team, so I don't I I don't know the record at home, but the last two games they've they, it's they haven't lost because of a lack of of opportunities to score. They've created more than enough chances. I expect a very good team, very good individuals who can break you down and do you know create a brilliant play at any given time, um, but also a very good, um, well-rounded team where they're they're good at defending as well. Uh, so we we expect a tough game. We don't expect that we're going to go in there and dominate a game. We ex we know, and the message to the guys is you have to go there and earn the right to to if you want to play a little bit of soccer, then you got to go and handle the the, the team effort defensively. The the duels duels are going to be huge in this game, uh, and then you hope that by scrapping a little bit, trying to get weather some storms at times, that we can con start controlling the game when we don't have the ball with our organization and when we have the ball with with our mobility and circulation of the ball.